You know, the Volkswagen bus has long been a symbol of living a simpler life, off the grid, if you will. A life that spends a lot of time by the beach. And today we're gonna to see the latest iteration of this iconic machine. It's now time for a J. Lowell's Garage exclusive. <laughs> this is my old friend, Gabriel Glacius, better known as Fluffy. Whenever we're talking about VW buses, my good friend Gabriel Iglesias, also known as Fluffy, is the first person on my list. All right, he's really the only guy on my list. He loves these things. He's also a hugely successful stand-up comedian who recently became the first comedian ever to sell out Dodger Stadium. But enough about him. Let's get back to the real reason we're here. Good to see you, my friend. What's going on? Tell us what we have here. Uh, what we have right here is a 1959 Volkswagen bus. It's pretty, huh? Yeah, it's very pretty. Thanks to those super stylish roof racks, 23 windows, and seating for up to nine, it's definitely a party bus. But looks are on everything, they're the only thing. Now, Fluffy's made a few engine modifications, which explain the $170,000 price tag for this. But the VW bus's original anemic engine could barely reach 55 miles an hour. That was going downhill, which is great if you're racing a riding lawnmower. And this is one of those vehicles they've been trying to recapture since these Halcyon days back then. Uh, in fact, I got something here I think you're gonna like. Let's take a look at the future. This is the brand new Volkswagen bus. It is all electric. This is Jeffrey. He's in charge of EV development at Volkswagen North America. Uh, what What's do we have here, Jeffrey? This is the brand new Volkswagen ID Buzz. As you can see, it's our iconic reinvention of the micro bus. And you can see the designers have done a pretty good job. Two-tone paint, massive Volkswagen logo at the front, flat nose, they just did a spectacular job. You know, with all the safety features, you can't make a new Volkswagen bus look like an old Volkswagen bus. These are wonderful, but not the safest vehicles. Back in the day, you would be the crumple zone. Yeah, right? there's, yeah, there's right. all of eight inches between the front of the car and you, your feet. Exactly, and that's one thing that the electrical architecture has allowed us to do, actually. There's no way you could do this vehicle on a combustion platform with right. a big gas engine at the front there. You couldn't get that flat nose design. Right. But thankfully, with the highly anticipated 2024 BW ID Buzz, you can get 201 horsepower and 229 foot-pounds of torque from its powerful all-electric motor. But thanks to its 224-mile range, you can now sit back and enjoy the ride all the way to Lederhosenland. Jawohl! I want to see inside. I, you know, Come on in. It's, it's very, very cool looking. Okay, now see that right there? That's that's one feature this does not have. No. Power no, sliding yeah. doors Power on both sliding sides. doors. Right. You even have massaging lumbar seats here in the front. All the creature comforts you need. So what you see here is the European model. Yeah. So in the US, we'll have a slightly longer version, and that'll have three rows of seats as well. Okay, very good. Is this something we can take for a drive? I think we can, absolutely. Now, I'm supposed to be the first to drive it, but since Fluffy is the master of the Volkswagen bus, I'd like you to be the first. You want to give it a shot? Yes! Let's do it. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Assen Graben, Fregenheimen! You want me to, want me to give it a little tap, see yeah, what, see what, see what we got? Oh, okay. It accelerates nicely, Okay. It? That's one thing about electric, you've got that tremendous torque, you know? Yeah, that wouldn't have happened with that 59. Yeah, and to anybody who's used to a normal Volkswagen, this is like a rocket ship. This doesn't operate like a normal old school Volkswagen. No. I don't smell gas either. Actually, I do smell gas, it's just not coming from the car. Uh, you're sorry about that, sorry. See the big wheels on it? Uh, yeah, they are. Big, massive wheels. I, actually, I'm surprised the tires are so wide. Usually on an electric vehicle, you have a little thinner tire to get more rolling resistance, you know? If anything would hurt this, it'd probably be the aerodynamics, because if it looks like a Volkswagen bus, it can't be aerodynamic, so. <laughs> you know? You, you put your foot on it, let's see what she does. <laughs> Want to give it a go? Yeah, let me give it a shot. Handles like a car, right? It really does. You know, that's the great thing about electric vehicles. All the weight's down low, so the center of gravity is low. So you don't feel like, whoa, 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 you're going to tip over in a corner. You kind of get that in the old VW You do bus. get that in the old, old You feel VW. like if it's at speed on a 35 and you're going 36, oh, you're, oh, you're going over. 
I, o I always wonder who those speed limit signs are made for, and I realize it's people on VW buses. I almost flipped a bus at 30. Yeah. I felt it get up on two tires right. because when it came back down, it had a little bounce on it. That's funny. And I'm like, that was so close. Yeah. But to be able to flip a, a car at 30 miles an hour, that's, yeah, the center of gravity is way off. No, it seems like a well-engineered, practical, sensible vehicle that's painted in fun colors. Very nice. It doesn't scream hippie van, though, does it? No, no. But it definitely does scream. Ah! Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more clips, previews, and compilations of things we've done on the show. So check it out.